Hey YouTube, Duty UK back again. Um, this is like a, I don't know, January fire sale, clear out, whatever you want to call it. Um, spent the best part of yesterday and this morning uh, sorting through. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but basically all my uh, NES, NES, SNES and N64 uh, stuff up there. So yeah, I went through it all, uh, sorted some bits out. Uh, I think I might have mentioned back before Christmas, I was looking to sort of thin down my Game Boy slash Game Boy Advance collection. Done that as well, so I've got sort of a few, well, a fair old chunk of uh, mainly Game Boy Advance games down there. Um, what time are we on now? At quarter to one. So I've got 45 minutes to get this done and then watch uh, the Mighty Reds, and that's the Liverpool Reds, not the, uh, the Scummy Manx. Right. As per usual with my sort of trades, whatever, um, I'll, I'll, I'll sort of um, go through the stuff, not in any great detail. If you want any more info, like you know, uh, close up photos, etc., just PM me, guys. Like I say, I'm not, not to spend too long uh, on each item. Um, what do I want? Really, anything, uh, except for obviously Game Boy Advance games or, or Game Boy games, to be honest, because, uh, like I say, I've got a I haven't got to, but I've just chose not to sort of, uh, you know, buy and, and and collect as much for that. I mean, I'll, I'll still pick up the titles that, that really interest me and stuff, but it'd be a bit more selective. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Um, hard cold cash, always welcome, obviously. And then, like I say, anything really. Um, I mean, if anyone's got any of the Master System games I need, which I doubt if they do, they're willing to let let them go. Uh, any of the manuals, um, loose NES games, NES games, NES, NES games. Um, yeah, just, just, just surprise me. You know, I say I collect for most things, and I, 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 you know, I'm not sort of, so, you know, I don't sort of say yeah, well, it has to be box, it has to be complete, anything like that. It's a trade. Look, the, the, these are all duplicates to me, so like I said, they're, they're, they're no good to me anyway in this, that respect. So let's crack on anyway, because enough waffle from me. Um, where do we start? Right, start the mass system. What? Quite a few loose carts. I might have shown these before. There's, I think there's a couple of extra or different ones from uh, a pickup I did before Christmas again. So let's list them. Line of Fire. Action Fighter. World Cup Tally 90. Rambo 3. I mean, these might be useful if, if you've got one of these and the cart's got, you know, sticker damage or whatever. Um, hang on. Prince of Persia. Populous. Operation Wolf with a, let's say, stick appeal. So, uh, Black Belt, World Soccer, Lemmings, American Baseball. So, that's all the mass system ones, guys. So, I haven't really got many uh, duplicates now, got rid of a lot of them. Uh, stick of the Sega theme, um, two um, duplicate Game Gear games that's Columns. And Sonic 2. Disc based stuff. Let's wrap through these. Right, PlayStation 1. I've got X Men 2 Mutant Academy. No manual. Uh, I've got two copies of Casper, which is one of the uh, number 45. Um, both manualless, so yeah, number 45. So that's the first one there. Uh, cases are okay. Uh, discs, discs are fine. Yeah, I mean they got the, you know, not perfect, but. So if anyone wants any closer pictures, let me know. Another Casper, but with a crack across the. There you can see that. This one's probably not in as good nick actually. Um, you can see by the inserts, a bit creased up, but yeah, uh, discs all right, just a bit dusty. Yeah, it's fine. So two copies of Casper there. Mickey's Wild Adventure, Platinum, complete. Who wants some? Uh, Duke Nukem, no manual. Uh, awesome game. Bit of sticker label on the front, so someone's need to clean this up. Uh, Monkey Hero. Complete. The Adventures of Monkey Hero, should I say? Uh, I'll just check disc here. 
Yeah, it's fine. And then, I'm not sure how, how this is. This is like a complete bastardised thing. So I've got a V Rally Championship Edition Platinum Manual, V Rally Platinum Disc, but then the back is for like V Rally Black Label. It might be someone might be missing the manual to V Rally. So yeah, give us a shout. You're welcome to that. Uh, what else have we got? Xbox Originals, I showed this one last video, so Toe Jam 3, so no good to me because it's not compatible. Nor is this, this is Dr. Muto, I suppose it's meant to be a really good game. This is complete as well. That's just Toe Jam and I showed you that. Um, this one is uh, about the manual, it's good metal. I think the box is a little bit, yeah the box is, I don't know what's happened. The clasps are really tight, but good metal without the, uh, without the manual. And I, I, I dug this out for some, I don't know where, but it's, a, it's obviously a duplicate. Final Fantasy XII, complete manual on the bump. Disc looks okay, there's one little notch in it, so to be fair, I haven't tested the PS2, um, but there is one little notch, but I don't think, I don't know if you say, I don't think it'll affect the gameplay. But yeah, like, if you're interested, give me a shout. Um, don't know where this has come from, must have been from a car boot lot, I don't know, uh, but dug this out as well. The Sims 2, and it looks like it's the American version. So someone might be interested in that. It's all in there, all the discs and everything else. And the, the uh, what do you call it? The code. So yeah, Sims 2, big box. With all the discs. And the code and the manual and all that shit. Might be useful. Someone, the wife's really into them. Um, so I say it might be useful to someone. Alright. Slurp a beer. Okay. Um, let's go with Game Boy. Right, I've got a right bit of mixture here. Some of these, I think, are the old Fakos, one or two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick them out now to show you. Um, I don't know if they are. They could be, gen they could be genuine American ones. Um, but I tend to just be really sceptical on anything, especially when it comes to Game Boy games. Uh, I think that's them all. So there's four of them here. So I'll, I'll just show you them. So we've got Need for Speed Underground 2. Like I say, the little E symbol there usually signifies US. Uh, I say this one actually looks original because it looks really worn and old. Same with the Need for Speed to be fair. It's usually the ones that look, look like too new and the, they just look a bit shit. Uh, high School Musical. Yeah. Say guys, I'm not guaranteeing any of these. This one I think is definitely a fake, but again, I could be wrong. Uh, Pokemon Emerald version. A bit grubbed up. There you go. Right, rest of these GBA ones, as far as I'm aware, are, um, are okay. So again, I'll just list them. Total Soccer 2002, Crash Nitro and Spyro 2 Season of Flame double pack, Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets, B Blade V Force, Scooby Doo. Scramble, Scrabble Scrambled Scooby Doo Mystery Mayhem Barbie Groovy Games I think Shamuso sent me that The Incredibles Monsters Inc Monopoly The Incredibles Rise of the Underminer My arm's hurting. Shrek 2, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, and Tomb Raider, The Prophecy. Twin pack. V Rally 3, Tomb Raider, The Prophecy, single. Bratz, Rock Angels. Dogs. 
Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Tony Hawk's American Skateland. Uh, Tocker World Touring Cars. Simpsons Road Rage. And Sega's Columns Crown. So that's all the GBA ones. I've got a couple of uh, Game Boy. Uh, either colour, yeah, the colour, colour and, and normal. Sorry, yeah, a couple of normals. Right, manked up label. I think it says Quest for Camelot, uh, but I don't know. It might be useful to someone if they've got a good copy in their insides and that, because you can also swap the, the innards out. There's that one, Quest for Camelot. Uh, just normal socket. Can't see that way, don't do it that way, that's better. Socket. Uh, Game Boy Colours, Alfred's Adventure, which is Alfred Chicken. Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 4. Uh, Tweety's High Flying Adventure. And the Game Boy Colour version of Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets. Then I've got three like, these multi cart jobbies. This one's got a bit of pen on the front, so. It just says 32 in 1. As you can see the pen there. I've got another 32 in 1 which is in loads better condition. Which is that one. And then I've got a 92 in 1. So if any of them are only good to you, give me a shout. Now lastly, I've just got a load of, a load, quite a few uh, N64 games. Again, like I say, all duplicates, what I've sorted out. I do lose carts for some. Some of the ones I've got, the other ones are boxed. Um, but the box probably without manual or without the insert or various combinations of both. But anyway, loose carts. Uh, space Station, do it this way. Space Station, Silicon Valley. Blast Corps. Turok Rage Wars. Body Harvest, Perfect Dark, First Turok, Mission Impossible, Rugrats Treasure Hunt, Fighters Destiny, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, and Star Wars Episode 1 Pod Racer type game. So they're all the loose carts. Put them up out of the way. So next I've got say loose loosest term boxed ones. So first up is F Zero X and it is literally just a cart and a box. And the box is yeah let's say so if if the boxes are really good I'll say they're really good otherwise you assume that they're, they're not the greatest. Okay no no uh, no tray with that one. Uh, next one is very similar vein, although the box has a better, seems to hold itself a bit better, is a F1 Grand Prix. Again, it's just the box and the car. Um, again, similar thing, Star Wars Rogue Squadron. So technically, there's like quite a lot of the Star Wars games. I've got. And again, that's just the car and the box. No insert, no tray, no manual. Um, slightly better condition one, or a bit of a tear there, and it's Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. This is actually complete. It's that side. So, again, manual, got the box. And the box kind of doesn't, it has its own insert built in, if you can see that. So, there's no actual insert per se, it's just the, uh, I don't know what you call it, insert. Tray. It's one of them ones with the trays with the cart holes built into the into the box. So, right, uh, sticking with sticking with mm -hmm. Star Wars uh, Episode One Racer complete. No tray, but it, the box is in really good condition. Manuals got a little couple of nibbles at it, 
and uh, there's the cart there. So I say, get, you get yourself a tray there, that, that one's away. And the box is in uh, pretty good condition. A couple of stickers at the front there, but they'll come off. So, pretty neat condition box, to be fair. Um, golden eye, which is complete, with insert as well. Box, uh, a bit of shelf wear on it and stuff. It holds its, holds its form. And uh, so, manual and trait. That's that one. Nearly there now, guys. Last two. Uh, complete Super Mario 64. Again, box not bad at all. I don't, well, I'll, for me, it wouldn't be too bad. There's no rips or tears, just the normal edges. If you can get it out, go on. There we go. So, manual and a tray. And I said the best till last. It's my duplicate copy of Majora's Mask. Which, to be fair, it's got a little couple of. I don't know if you see there. You know, little, you know, there's no tears on it, it's just where things just rode up a little bit on it. I tell the lies, a slight tear there, look. Uh, internally, got a huge manual which has uh, got a few little nibbles on it, and then the car and the tray. Alright, so that's that's really it, guys. <laughs> it really took me ages to sort through, right? I didn't believe it. Um, so yeah, if anyone's interested in any of that, give us a shout and say, cold hard cash is obviously always welcome. Um, trade wise, just surprised me, you know. So not really into the Game Boy games per se, unless there's something like really special. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to try and get um, a reply video up, but uh, I've just been that that busy with stuff. I mean, I've just crammed these two in and spent all day doing this. So, and then I've got the football on this afternoon, so it might not be uh, it might not be happening. And I'm gonna have a few more of these. So, take it easy, YouTube, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, then. Bye bye.